Hey there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lauren, if you're new here, and if you're not new, you're the best for coming back. Thank you. Well, a month ago, we embarked on a new journey here on my channel, and that was a Project Pan. Now, I have always enjoyed watching people pan their products, but I never thought that I was the person to do it myself because my attention span is this tiny when it comes to makeup products, and I have so many. I like doing something different every single day, pretty much, pretty much. There are a few products I don't mind using over and over. Eyebrow products don't do a whole lot for me, so it's fine if I use the same pencil every single day for a month. I don't care. But when it comes to other products, I like a lot of variety. But you know what? I also embarked on a no buy in June. It was not successful, but it did give me some insight into what I need to do in order to really think through my purchases. You know, I think it did help a little bit, oh, maybe. Um, either way, the no buy is continuing into July since June didn't do so good. And by no buy, I guess that I should say there was a small amount of money that I set aside to buy stuff for the channel. That's it. Very small amount. Kind of like a low buy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no buys are hard. Either way, back to, back to this video. Project Pan. I didn't think it was for me. But now we're a month into the Project Pan, so I wanted to give you guys an update on how I've been doing with these products, how I feel about them now that I have been focusing on them for a month, and uh, what my project pan looks like in the future. So let's get started. Now, you're gonna see a little pink tape on everything, and I did that on all the products that I was using in my project pan so I could keep track of them. So the pink tape is me. <laughs> the pink tape did not come with the pink tape, uh, just to give you a heads up. Uh, but one thing I learned during this project pan was that a lot of products are easier to use over and over again than I thought they would be. So first up, let's talk about primers. There's two primers that I had in my project pan. I have first up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Hydrating Primer, and I have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. So these are the two primers that I decided to focus on. And I did that because the Smashbox one, I loved their Illuminating Primer. It's one of my favorites, but the Hydrating one, the Consistency is very thin, so I, I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I didn't love it, so I just kind of wanted to use this up. With the Hourglass, I had noticed that the pump hadn't been working very well. So this is an expensive product, and I wanted to get through it. So how often did I use these products? So I actually ended up using both these products nine times in the month of June, which kind of opened my eyes a little bit. I realized primers I don't care as much about as long as they work as a primer, right? I, I do have quite a few primers in my collection, but it was easy just to pick these up and throw them on my face. Not at the same time. They're very different. Um, but how do I feel now that I've used them each nine times in the past 30 days? I actually like this one more than I did when I started. I still don't love the consistency. I do like a primer that it's a little thicker and this one is pretty watery, but I feel like it does a good job as a primer, so I can't hate it. I am still shocked that it's not empty. It's still going strong. So we, we still have quite a few days left in this one, I'm thinking. Can't see the inside though, so you never know. With this one, the Hourglass Vanish Primer, uh, it stopped pumping a few days ago. And I realized, cause I, you know, opened it up. I realized that if you look, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but there's like a nothing in the middle. All the product has now collected on the sides. And because the consistency of this primer is so thick, it doesn't settle. So I need to get a little spatula in there and mix it up so that I can actually use the pump again. Um, but I just, I really do like this primer. This is a great primer. These are two very different consistencies. So it's interesting using both of these, um, but they're both great. I still love them. I'm not sick of them. So that makes me pretty happy. Foundation. I have two foundations and uh, they're also both pretty different. First up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is in the color three. And then on the other hand, we have the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted 
sunscreen and I have mine in the color Melrose. So definitely different. This is a tint. This is a foundation. As you can see, there's like, you can see through the packaging now in this one, which is very exciting. So I used the Charlotte Tilbury nine times and I was actually kind of disappointed because I only used the Tower 28 three times. And the reason why the Tower 28 is in this project pan is because it expires in a month in August. So I need to use it all up. I need to really focus on this in July. I've loved both these products and I that didn't change, but foundation was one of the harder products to use over and over again because I have a great foundation collection and I like the variety of foundation. I like using a different one. So it was a little harder to focus on these two. I think I did a good job with this one, but the month of July, I will be focusing on the Tower 28 one because I really want to finish this before it expires. It has sunscreen in it, so I do take that expiration date pretty seriously. I care about my sunscreen, so you know. There's only one concealer in my project pan, and that's the Dior Backstage Concealer. And I have mine in the color One Neutral. And the reason why it's in here is I actually really do like it, but I hate the packaging. It just gets so dirty, mm, with little hairs everywhere, because it just, when you put the little, to be one down it forces all the product up and it's like spilled over multiple times and it just doesn't stand great on its own so uh it's a mess but we used this guy 10 times so he definitely got a lot of use again i like the product but i just want to make it worth the money because it's expensive two powders we have the classic laura mercier translucent powder this isn't a travel size and then we have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Um, what can I say about these? I used the Laura Mercier 10 times and I used the Hourglass 9 times. So this is another product that's similar to the primer where I realized that I could use the powders over and over again and not feel bored because these are both really good powders. I think if I didn't like one of them, I definitely wouldn't have used them as much. Um, I... It's another product where I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to finish it soon. But no, no, there's still a bunch of stuff in there. I go in with a light hand and uh, it shows because it's just it's still there. It's not going anywhere. So still love these products. Still going to be in my project pan. Three bronzers in my project pan. And I have very different feelings about all of them. Funnily enough, funnily, funny enough, they're all cream or liquid. So that's interesting. But the three that I included in this project pan is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. We have the Hollywood Tilbury Contour Wand in Light Medium. And then we have the Freck Face Hack in Fair, this little guy. So let's see. The Fenty I used six times. The Charlotte Tilbury I used four times. And the Freck I also actually used four times. So what, how do I feel about these? I realized that, and I'll also be popping up pictures so you can see the actual difference in the cream bronzer, um, because you can actually see the difference when I use it versus, you know, I mean, I guess you can kind of see it in the powders, but it, it's more noticeable in here, right? Um, I love the Fenty one. The Fenty one is great, but my cream bronzers get so dirty. Like, I don't know how they collect every little bit of dust possible, but they do. So it looks gross, but I do like it. Now, the Charlotte Tilbury, I've always had mixed feelings about this one. I know it's almost empty though, which is why it's in this project pan. It dries so fast. It is a little difficult to use. I think if you don't put it on the right foundation, it doesn't sit right, so it can look kind of patchy. Um, it works really great with the foundations that I have in this project pan, though. So that's a good thing, but it's I, it's just not very user-friendly. I like the color. I don't love the formula. It's just very difficult to work with. So um, I'm continuing to use it. It's still going to be in this project pan. The Freck. The Freck Face Hack. I am a very pale person. Now, I did fake tan my face. I have like little tanning towels that I used the other day. So I'm a slightly tanner than I normally am. Um, but this barely shows up on me. I'm wearing it today. I just, uh, it just is so 
light and it's way too warm for what I like in a bronzer. I don't, I don't love it. I don't, I don't even know if I like it. I am going to keep it in this project pan for now because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, I, I, I want to keep using it. The whole reason why it's in this project pan is to see how fast this size will be used up. I've only used it four times, so it's a pretty minimal dent in it as of right now. But I want to see if I can finish it before the end of the year. But I don't know if I want to put myself through that. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's going to remain in for now. But every time I use it, I hate it more. So, mm, mm. blush is another category that I did not do well in. <laughs> there is a lot of new blush releases over the past few months. So... I've added a few blushes into my collection that I wanted to use. So let's talk about what I have in my project pan. First up, we have the Le Beige blush by Chanel in the color light pink. So it's the one where it has the little dots suspended in gel. I actually love this blush. It's very, very pretty. I have the piece of tape on there to kind of measure my progress, but I've only used it twice this past month. So. I, uh, I need to use it more because it is a really good blush. I really do like it, but this is a category where it's very hard for me to just stick to a few products and, and I've learned that and um, it's good to know. It's good to know. This one I did even worse. This is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine and it doesn't look like it's been used. It has just very lightly. I only used this once. I only used it once and the thing is, every time I thought about using it, I there was stuff I wanted to use more than this. So it's going to remain in my project pan for now, but this one is kind of on the chopping block. I don't know if I'm going to actually go out of my way to use it a lot. It's pretty, but I actually I have other colors from M Cosmetics that I like more that I'd rather reach for. So... We're going to see, we're going to, I think because it is this orangey clementine color, I think it'll be good for summer, but we're going to see. This was kind of failed on this one. We also have a blush palette. So this is the NARS Orgasm palette. Oh, endless orgasm. Jesus, NARS. This is another one where I'll pop up a comparison picture. Um, but I use this one four times. And every time I use it, I remember how much I love it. Specifically, this kind of corner here. This is one of the best cheek palettes I think that NARS has come out with. Um, it's so creamy. The colors are so pretty. I This is a great palette. I only used it four times, so not that much. But I do love it. I want to continue to keep it in my project pan uh, just to get some more use out of it. Today, I actually used this color up here. I know there's a lot of options with this one. So it's still something that I love. But again, this was just an area where it was hard for me to stick to any of these. Only one highlighter. I mean, I guess the NARS palette has some highlighters in it, but only one official highlighter. This is the Ritual Defeat Highlighter in Ice Bow, their Rare Light Cream Luminizer. Um, I'll throw up a picture here. I only used this one twice, and I didn't really use it until the end of June. Well, once was at the end of June, and once is in this video. <laughs> no lie. Uh, and every time I use it, I am blown away by how beautiful it is. So it is a product I love. It's a product I think I'm going to continue using for the next month, but I can see myself switching this one out for something else just because it feels like a very special highlighter that I want to use in certain situations, but not all of the situations, if that makes sense. So I am going to keep it in my project pan. These are all staying in my project pan as of right now but it's something that might be on the chopping block, not because I don't love it, but because I love it too much, <laughs> maybe. We have some eyeshadow singles that I included, and they're both from ColourPop, so I have the Super Shock Shadow in Kush and the Super Shock Shadow in Rosebud, and um, I only used Kush once. Only used the Sky once, and it was really pretty. I actually really liked the look. Used it once, never turned back. And Rosebud, I mean, Rosebud already had a little dippy in it. Pretty good, um, but I did not use it. I did not use it. Eyeshadow, I knew this was gonna be the thing. Eyeshadow is the most difficult part of makeup for me in terms of a project pan because I wanna use a different eyeshadow every single day. I do. And that is why I failed with these, but I didn't do 
too horrible with one of the palettes. So I have the ABH Norvina palette. This is the volume four. And this uh, is basically was unused when I started, but I've used it 11 times. So that means 11 different looks. And it's what I have on my eyes right now. I'm actually pretty happy with the progress that I've made in it. And I love it. It has enough variety in here of the colors that I've really been feeling lately. It's clearly a Barbie summer that I, I didn't get bored. I just, I loved every look that I made with it. Uh, but <laughs> the other palette that I picked, I this one was my challenge palette because I knew it was gonna be hard for me to wanna use it. But this is the Janessa Myricks Lightworks Volume 4 Transcendence Palette. And I only used it twice. It's just, it's just, it's a very unique palette and it's a little more time consuming to use. So this, I was super busy at work this month. I didn't have a whole lot of time to just play with my makeup. I'm hoping next month I, I do have more time, we'll see. But specifically the water activated liners, I need to use them and I haven't. I have not, I have no excuses, it's just, Apparently I have a lot of excuses. I It's just a hard palette, so I just never found myself reaching for. So while I'm really glad on the progress that I made with the Norvina, um, it's just very clear to me that the Danessa Myricks needs some love as well. And both these palettes are staying in my project pan. I think this Norvina palette is perfect for the summer, to be honest, and I have had quite a bit of fun playing with it. So I'm gonna keep it in. I'm glad I have it in there. I have one cream gel liner from ColourPop. This is in the color Overboard. I used it once. I forgot it was in my project pan. It's in my project pan basket, but it's just, it's such a pretty color. It's such a pretty color. So we're gonna continue to use it. We're gonna use you. Um, I'm actually going to Hawaii pretty soon, and I am gonna be bringing quite a few of these products with me so I can just focus on them. If I only have one product, and I'm traveling. I have no choice but to use it if I only bring one. That brings us lastly to the lip products. We had two. One I don't have with me, but it is the, pop a picture up here, the Hourglass is it gel something. I don't remember, ghost volumizing. I don't, I, this one right here, showing up on the screen somewhere. It's the little clicky ones and it went viral on TikTok from what I've heard, even though I had mine a while ago. Um, and people love it because it gives your lips a really wet look. I, I love it, I love it. But the reason I put it in my project pan was because it is a very delicate formula and it is a very expensive product. So I wanna use it up, I wanna get my money's worth. It melted in my car at one point and then it kind of solidified back together. But I used it a handful of times. I kept it in my purse so when I was at work I used it. It's a little harder to keep track of lip gloss I found because I'll just pull it out when I need it. The point is to use it, not necessarily to keep track of how many times I'm using it. So I did use it a handful of times, loved it each time. Uh, it's very hydrating, it's a great formula. Uh, but another fail is this one from Buxom. So this is their full on plumping lip cream in Dolly. This one's coming to me, coming to me, coming with me to Hawaii because I do love this Buxom formula. I used this exactly once and it was for this video, but it is the 30th of June, so it still counts. Overall, it's definitely been some mixed results into what I've learned that I can just use over and over and over and not get bored of and what it's, it's really hard for me to just focus on and use for even just a week straight. I just, I get so bored. I want to try different things. So even though like with the eyeshadows, I'm really proud of the work I did with the Norvina. There were others in there that did not get used, right? Blush, pretty large fail, I would say. Um, but then we did really good with some things. Primers, I think foundations, we did really good with the Charlotte Tilbury and powders, really great, really great. So I'm happy. I am kind of, you know, learning more about me. And uh, yeah, I think I think this was pretty good for the first month, you know? We, I actually really enjoy doing this project pan. I'm gonna continue. This is gonna be a six month duration. And um, if you can hear the tippy taps in the background, that is my dog downstairs. Clearly my husband is playing with her, I can, I can tell. I've had a lot of fun just keeping track of using these products and I think it has helped me kind of 
reduce my spending because the thought of bringing on more blush into my collection when I haven't even focused on these three it is enough to prevent me from buying blush. So yay. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing monthly updates to my project pan. So definitely subscribe if you haven't had a chance already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.